Hey y'all, this is Joe with St. Bernard Acres out here in my shed uh, playing with the wind turbine idea I'm trying to do, build my own wind turbine and I did in the last video I showed you a permanent magnet motor that I had gotten from work and uh, it's a really big one <laughs> So I thought, let me go through the the bone yard and see if I can find smaller ones, and you know that are permanent magnetic generators. There are two different types. You have PMAs and you have PMGs. A permanent magnet alternator. Um, you get AC from a permanent magnet generator you'll get DC from primarily uh, with the AC that's like the alternator that's in your car um, in order to use it you have to have a rectifier to take the three wires you know it's a three wire system and you have to convert that over to two wires direct current to send it to your batteries the permanent magnet generators the PMGs you don't need the rectifier or anything because it comes out as uh, DC direct current the one of the differences is AC you can go further distances with less loss uh, than you can with DC but I have these I'm gonna do this wind turbine this is like a test for me and it's I'm gonna use it on my outdoor bathroom to put a battery there run a couple lights and the pump for the water and charge that off of a wind turbine it doesn't it's not going to be 40 feet in the air or anything but you have seen enough videos from St. Bernard Acres I get tons of wind so I'm going to test this both of these motors and see if either one of them actually works. I mean, they're off of machines that we've dismantled, but I need to make sure they at least work. So, first thing I'm going to do is run a meter on it and spin this by hand. This one over here, I don't think will work. I didn't check this at work, but I can't get it to spin. I think it's froze up. So that one's dead. Um, this is the one I'm going to have to be working with. And it's the right size. I mean, it's not heavy. It, I, it'll be easy to mount on the turbine, which is my plan. So what I'm going to do is check my volts coming out of it. If I have anything coming out, um, just spinning it by hand. So... Let me hook up. It doesn't matter with DC. It doesn't matter which wire is which. You know, there is no positive or negative really. Because the power doesn't go both ways. And let me set this up. And I'm going to put my phone on the meter. Use that camera so we can see what it says. So give me a second here. There we'll be able to see the meter, and you can see the motor. So I will spin it by hand. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, just with my fingers, I'm getting what five volts. Let me try to put a drill on it and see what it goes up to if I can get this over the shaft oh yeah let's see how much volts I can generate I've got it on 200 because I'm sure it's going to be more than 20 volts uh, if I got enough voltage to light this at such a low RPM 
let's see where we can take this. So, <laughs> that'll work. That's pretty neat. So, over 60 volts with the drill. So, I would say this motor will work. Alright, so what I have here is a 12 volt LED light that I bought when I had a four wheeler <laughs> because I got two of them that was going to go on a my four-wheeler until it got stolen so I am going to see they just have a tiny little bit of lead hanging out I don't want to cut any more off but let's see if I can alligator clip these together well enough to see if I can get it to light Touching. See that? Oh yeah. Okay. That was just with my fingers making that happen. So, 65 volts. 60 volts will burn this thing out. I'm going to have to put the drill on it and go really slow. Because I don't have a way of judging my RPMs. Okay. Let's see if I can get a solid light here at low RPMs. Oh, yeah. Yep. That'll power my 12 volt lighting. Obviously. <laughs> so, now that I know this permanent magnet generator works, I can go ahead and start building the uh, wind, windmill. And hooking this motor up to it. Now you do you can't use, as far as I know, a regular charge controller. Um, you know, you take one of these charge controllers, which would be for my solar panels, um, won't work because this is going to connect directly to the battery. And what you have to have is a load dump charge controller. So you, you set that up. These will go directly to the batteries, how long it has to go. I'll hook them onto the battery. And then the dump charge controller will hook onto the batteries. And then it will be set to where if the batteries reach a charge of let's say 13.5 at that point if that turbine is still spinning or if it's spinning too fast when that reaches 13.5 volts in the battery it will throw a solenoid that will send all the extra juice to a dump um, you know a, a place that will discharge all of that extra electricity that way you don't overcharge your battery but the regular charge controllers that you use for your solar 
doesn't have that dump feature or that solenoid attached to it that will keep your battery from overcharging you know and dump that extra electricity somewhere because what will happen is you'll fry your this motor up or you know you'll fry your wind turbine up so think about that when you do a wind turbine um, but that's it I'm happy it works that's how you can test one but again that's how you test it. This is part one of building my own wind turbine uh, just to see if I can and make it actually work and charge the battery for my outdoor bathroom out of St. Bernard Acres. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm out.